up everybody, it's Roddy Rock. It was recently my birthday, and since each and every one of you couldn't be there to celebrate with me, I figured this would be a great way to share the experience. Welcome to Food Porn Friday. follow my channel, you know that my favorite chef here in the Bay Area is Chef Chris Cosentino. He's been on the Food Network, he's won Top Chef All-Stars, but he cooks amazing food. So for my birthday, my fiance organized a multi-course dinner at his flagship restaurant, Coxcomb. My parents were so cute, they never eat out. So when they saw this small menu on everyone's plate with all the courses laid out, they thought they were just gonna choose from this small collection of dishes. But then by the end of the meal, they were like, oh my god, I didn't know we were gonna get everything on this little piece of paper. We started off the night with a little gem lettuce salad that was a little reminiscent of a low-carb Caesar salad. How do you do a low-carb Caesar salad? Crispy fried thin sliced pig ears. Did you just become my favorite salad in the bay? Yup. For those of you who've ever had fried pork skin, it's in a salad. That makes it amazing! Along with the salad, we were served the seasonal bruschetta. This item varies based on the chef's mood, but it's always delicious. On this particular day, we had the tender and flaky tuna confit over toasted tartine sourdough with fresh and pickled vegetables. There was a nice bit of acid and salt to really wake up everyone's palate for the onslaught that was my birthday dinner. After that, a huge slab of wood is brought up with different types of hams and terrines, along with things like butter and pickled eggs, giving us the ability to explore and create these amazing flavor combinations. Salty cured Benton ham with caramelized pear, country terrine with a dollop of whole grain mustard that just burst in your mouth like little balloons of flavor. Can I just say, those pickled golden yolk eggs, chef, if you're watching this, please let me know how you do that because those blew my mind. Our soup court is my favorite kind of soup, which happens to have its origins here in the Bay Area, Chipino. Chef Cosentino's version is just overflowing with the amount of seafood that he puts in. Shrimp and scallop and fish in a clean tomato broth that's just unctuous and oozing with the sea. On to the main courses. They brought out three whole fried chickens glistening with flavor. On the inside, tender and juicy meat. On the outside, a satisfyingly crunchy, sweet maple and chili coating. Sweet, spicy, juicy, crunchy. It was my kind of bird. The final main course was this giant bone-in pork shoulder. It was like bigger than my head. It was intimidating. It was topped with pickled peppers and pickled Chinese broccoli. It was rich, it was fatty, and it was the most melt-in-your-mouth pork that I have ever had. It was downright dangerous with those pickled peppers and pickled broccoli. Because you take a couple bites and realize, whoa, this is rich. Maybe I shouldn't. And then you take a bite of a pickled pepper and that acidity and salt breaks through and your palate is rejuvenated. You're like, oh, I can have more pork now. We cannot forget dessert. A whole loaf of chocolate bread pudding with whipped cream and sprinkles. At this point, everyone in the table was pretty much beyond full. So there was plenty of chocolate bread pudding to take home. Chef suggested the next morning that I make French toast with the bread pudding. Which I did. Yeah, I Snapchatted it. You can follow me on Snapchat if you if you want. Surrounded by people I love and adore, eating to beyond satisfaction with breathtaking food, it was indeed one of the best meals of my life. A huge thank you to Chef Cosentino and his team at Coxcomb for a truly memorable meal. If you would like to eat there, I'll leave all of their information down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll holler.